Hey, I'm really excited. We have a segment coming up about how to start your own business. If you always wanted to start your own business, yes. uh, we have a business expert in the green room, Michelle Kubis. Mm -hmm. And also, we're going to check back on a lady that was in business for herself working out of her house. We're going to check back and do a progress report. We did an original story on her a couple years ago. Oh, good. So okay. this is about the time she will either know if she's really starting we'll to We'll see it how or... she's doing. Are you tired of taking orders from others? How would you like to start working for yourself? Have you always wanted to start a business for yourself? Over the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at what you need to keep in mind to start your own business. First, we have an example. Back in January 2003, we introduced you to Marina Tennyson. Her hobby was doing embroidery work. So she took that hobby and started a home business doing custom embroidery. We're going to get an update with Marina in just a minute. But before we do that, Enterprise Coach Michelle Kubis is here, and if you recall that story we did back then, you kind of helped her, right? Yes, I was a consultant with her through the City of Phoenix MTA program, mm -hmm. and uh, Marina was really very busy at the time, but she was needing help to be organized and how to make the most of her resources. So what, what do you think that she did right in order to get her business? What she did right is she started tracking what she was doing. She was mm -hmm. tracking her, her investments and she was tracking her time to see where she could better and best put those resources. Was she doing anything wrong that you corrected? The only thing wrong was she was worrying a lot. <laughs> well, that's pretty normal. <laughs> so it's not a wrong thing, it's a very natural thing. Yeah. However, when we shifted that energy that she invested in worrying, mm -hmm. she became much more productive. Now this is a case, Marina, where she took a hobby and turned it into a business. Now is that possible for most people to turn their hobbies into business? And you have to make sure that there's a market for what, you, what your hobby is. This right? is really nothing new, Rick. Yeah. This, they used to call it cottage industries. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you really want to test the waters first. You want to see if there's an interest in what you're doing and do some do some research. Be a sleuth. Find out what are some things that are in the marketplace already that might be similar to what you're planning to do. And then just go in the other direction. Okay. I call it being contrarian. Contrarian. There you go. Okay, we're going to put up some recommendations. Okay. And then I want you to comment on these. Okay. Now, first of all, m more than likely you're going to have a job. Don't quit that job prematurely, right? Absolutely. There are three things. If you happen, you need to have a marketing plan for your proposed work. Mm -hmm. You want to have a strategic plan, which step by step by step, how you're going to accomplish your goal. And you want to stir some interest before you take that magical leap. Now, you know, a lot of people, when they consider going into business, they're thinking about getting some type of financial backing, small business loan or whatever. What are, you, what are your recommendations as far as what investors are looking for if they want to invest in your business? Investors will not even talk to you without a marketing plan. Mm -hmm. You're going to invest about $2,500 on the front end just to get that accomplished. And what are investors looking for in return? They're looking for... <laughs> not only a return on their investment with interest, mm -hmm. they are looking to get paid back. And okay. with a relatively, the, the, the terms are different, depends on if it's a short term or a long term investment. Okay. Uh, uh, now, we want to talk about financial resources, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, there are financial resources out there, but they're not necessarily what you think. I mean, you may have to draw upon your own that's Financial that's research, the right? first, that, that's what I call my me myself and I funding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take your own resources. Some people who are leaving a bigger co company will take a 401k mm -hmm. and break into that. Uh, that's a good investment if those other pieces are in place first. Okay. Then uh, you have things like when you say other pieces, you mean yes, the marketing plan, the marketing your strategic plan. planning, exactly. Okay. Okay. And stirring that pot. And then you could always go into your savings as well. Savings, it, yes, if you can avoid that. I would do so because you want to keep a reserve for when you're ramping up the business. Now, I have interviewed some people in the past, back in uh, earlier years when I used to do business news, that actually started a huge business mm -hmm. on a credit card. Yes. Good idea? Bad, bad idea? It's, it's really relative to the individual, what their spending habits are, how they manage money. Okay. Credit cards are a first, they're an easy reach. Mm -hmm. The fact is you still have to pay back what's on the credit line. Mm -hmm. And this is where a lot of entrepreneurs have difficulty. They run up the bill, but their cash flow isn't there to even pay back their original, what their payments are. Cash flow is so important, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have another pointer, shares. Uh, you can sell yes. shares? You can sell shares. You can be a closed corporation or a company mm -hmm. and sell shares to people that you know or people who are interested in your market. Okay. Uh, inheritance. 
yes, if you happen to have, if you're fortunate enough to have inherited money in a fund or so on, mm -hmm. you can leverage that. And there are grants available, especially for women entrepreneurs and minorities. Yes, and uh, you'll see a crazy man running around, Mr. I forgot his name, but he's got question marks all over him. Yeah. He, all he has done <laughs> is taken all the grants, which you can find on www. Uh, grants.gov, I think, right. and you can find thousands of grants for free money. A crazy man's been on our show. I, uh, I can't think of his name right Jalesco now. Jalesco or something? I yeah, can't remember. Zalesco, yeah. yeah. Okay, now we could go to your website because this is what you do. You help yes, people to get started. Yes, I am started, a business right? coach. And we could download forms from your website and, to get us started? Yes, I have put up on the website for Fox viewers, click here. Okay. Oh, and how, how nice. Okay. If you click on the website at positivepotentials.com, okay. you put your name your email in there and I will forward 10 forms to get you started which includes building your marketing plan things to look for it's a checklist okay. and uh, items to get you started okay let's check on uh, on our, uh, Marina. Our, our Marina our special uh, special person who we interviewed a couple of years ago she was uh, she had a business she started in her own home Marina are you there I sure Marina Tennyson best impressions embroidery how are you doing I'm fine Rick Thank how is you. it how has it been over the last couple of years well it's been busy we're uh, uh, growing all the time. And, and now, as I recall, when doing the story, you actually put an addition onto your house, right? Yes. Okay. Back then, you had some pretty impressive clients, uh, Phoenix Sons and others. How's your client list today? It's uh, still growing. We, we've gotten several national accounts, and uh, we're staying busy. And this is a full-time business, and you're doing well? Absolutely, yes. Uh, and thank you so much for the shirt that you embroidered uh, for me. Uh, it was a denim shirt, and I wore it on one of our promos, the one that we were flying in the hot air balloon. Oh. I was wearing your shirt, Marina. Well, thank you. Good. Congratulations, and good luck to you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Marina. And Jen, over to you. See, All now right. someday you could start, perhaps start a business. Maybe.